Hello students. So today we shall discuss a brief account of biopesticides and we have chosen neem as a biopesticide. So this is Rekha from Government Science College, Bangalore. So what is biopesticide? So let us study a brief introduction. So as you all know, the world's population heavily depends on agricultural production of plants and animals for food. So 15% of the world's crop yield is lost to insects or pests. So chemical pesticides are the only means of pest control. The use of chemical pesticide has become extensive due to its relatively low cost and ease of application, its efficiency, availability and stability. Chemical pesticides are usually fast acting which limits the crop damage. So it has some significant disadvantages. So what are these disadvantages? Chemical pesticides are often not only toxic to the organisms for which they were conceived but also to other plants, animals and human beings. About 95% of the pesticide sprayed is washed away from the plant surface and accumulates in the soil. They are not efficiently degraded in the soil, causing environmental pollution. They accumulate in the environment, harming the ecosystem and inflicting diseases at alarming levels. What are biopesticides? Biopesticide is a pesticide consisting of naturally occurring or genetically engineered microorganism that controls pests by non-toxic mechanisms and in eco-friendly manner. Biopesticide is a formulation made from naturally occurring substances. So it is derived from animals, example nematodes, plants like chrysanthemum, Azara directa is neem, and microorganisms like Bacillus thuringiensis, Trichoderma, Nucleopolyhedrosis virus, commonly known as NPV, and also the living organisms, which are the natural enemies. So what are the advantages of biopesticides? It is alternative to the chemical pesticides. It is less toxic, uh, sorry, less toxic. It is effective in very small quantities and decompose quickly resulting in lower exposures and avoiding pollution. And when it is used as a component of integrated pest management programs, it greatly reduces the use of conventional pesticides while crop yield remains high and it is safe to natural enemies and higher organisms. It is cheaper, renewable, and it can be handled safely. So these are some of the advantages of biopesticides. So coming to the disadvantages, so the effect is very slow and it lacks persistence and wide spectrum activity, rapidly degraded by the UV light. So the residual action is slow and the effective dose is higher. The seasonal availability of plant products indicates the need for their shortage, not easily available everywhere, poor water solubility and are generally not systemic in nature and the all products applied they have not been scientifically verified so these are some of the disadvantages of using biopesticides so what are the types of biopesticides so there are five different types of biopesticides first one is biochemical pesticides Second one is plant incorporated protectants. It is also called as PIPs, biotic agents like parasitoids and predators, botanical pesticides and microbial pesticides. So what are botanical pesticides? These are naturally occurring plant materials that may be crude preparation of the plant parts, which is ground to produce a dust or powder. So it can be used as such or it can be diluted using a carrier such as clay, talc or diatomaceous earth. Several plant-based pesticides as nicotinoids, natural pyrethrum, eucalyptus leaf extract, neem products, etc. 
So let us study neem as a biopesticide. So neem insecticide is the best among all the insecticides due to the following properties. It is one of the natural product which is absolutely non-toxic, environment friendly, completely safe for humans and beneficial insects like honeybee. It has no adverse effects to humans, wildlife or the environment. It can be mixed with the other synthetic pesticide and also enhances their action. It is effective for over 600 species of pests. So here it gives a picture of the advantages of neem as a biopesticide. It is less, it is uh, cheaper and in cost wise, 100% biodegradable. It controls the insects. It is compatible with the pesticides and other pest management practices. And it doesn't have any toxic reduce, residues, eco-friendly, safe to non-target organisms. And these are some of and the multifarious modes of action. So these are some of the advantages of using neem as a biopesticide. So what is the source of this biopesticide? The neem seeds, bark, and the leaves are the sources of neem extracts. The active ingredient in neem oil is azadirectin, which interrupts the natural life cycle of many insects, preventing them from reaching maturity, molting, and reproducing. There are two types of neem oil available. One is azadirectin, whereas the main active ingredient is the oil and the clarified hydrophobic extract of the neem oil. Both the types of neem oil are safe to use on food and non-food crops. Azardirectin deters certain insects from feeding and disrupts their normal life cycle. Clarified hydrophobic extract of neem oil performs similar to azardirectin, but it is also labeled for use against the fungal diseases. So what are the benefits and limitations of neem? Neem oil is much less harmful to animal, insects, hum and human life when compared to the chemical insecticides. It is effective against lepidopterans, white flies, moth larvae, mites, aphids, several types of mildew, rust and aphid transmitted viruses. So what are the limitations? Neem oil works best as a preventative treatment rather than a control measure for mature adult insects. Neem oil should be applied when it's are dry so completely evaporates and plants are not at risk of phytotoxicity. Dry conditions prevent damage to stressed and non-stressed plants. So neem oil will kill honeybees and contaminate to water so it should be applied at night or in the evening when bees are not feeding and should not be made near the bodies of water so to summarize this topic two-third of today's world population depends upon agriculture for their basic need increase in yield and production of agricultural crops depend upon pesticides as pests cause much damage to crops so as a result chemical pesticides are used neglecting the future effects extensive use of these synthetic organic chemicals in the past decades has responsible for long-term environmental problems so a big challenge in the new millennium is to produce more food keeping the environment safe thank you